In March of 2010, a group of eight students and two adults traveled to Long Island, Bahamas. We signed up for a week working with the Caribbean Youth Network, as well as relaxing in the sun with the luxuries of home, but our expectations quickly changed. Uh, the Caribbean Youth Network is a stateside mission agency designed to impact young people in the Bahamas. I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I've never been down to the Caribbean um, or any of that area before. Um, I, I knew it was kind of a third world country, uh, really poor, um, but I, I didn't really I, I, I've never experienced anything like that, so I didn't really know how to take that. Um, and whenever I got down there, it was, it was really um, kind of life-changing, you know, just to see actually how it was, how they lived down there, um, what they didn't have, you know, compared to what we have, what we experience every day. As we unloaded from the plane, we looked around at the barren land. Other than a few cars in the parking lot and an airport smaller than a house, we realized we were far from home. This is our story. Oh, it was beautiful. I mean, the, the water was blue as ever. Um, it, it was like paradise, you know, it, it was just beautiful. Every, every, everywhere you looked was, you know, a, a desktop wallpaper, you know. <laughs> well, the Oasis is a youth center. And it was designed to be a hub of activity for kids to come and have a safe place to go where they could hang out with adult leaders who care about them. It's also a community center in a sense because other organizations utilize it to be able to uh, hold events and it's, so it's a facility that can be used by the whole community as not just one ministry. Um, at the Oasis, what, our biggest task there was pouring dugouts. For them they had dirt dugouts and they wanted concrete for them so we had to pour all the concrete mix that up and everything and I was in the concrete all day smoothing it out while everybody else was making it, so they had the pretty hard job of that. And then we also made like picnic tables and painted and just try to make the place look nice. What are you doing? Cutting wood. For what? Picnic table. Like this? Like that. This week we had a great mission team from Westminster College, and they helped us to do a lot of things that needed to be done. We were able to do some painting. We have a new concession stand for our baseball field, and the group did an excellent job painting that. In addition to that, just did some odds and ends and taking care of the field and preparing for our season. Um, the first day that we did the, the clinic, I was uh, base running, and we, we all we did was we taught the kids how to run the bases, you know, how to round um, as, as you're going around the bases. Um, and you know obviously first base, second base, third and home. And then the next day I did, uh, I think it, I, I just did uh, hit, hitting the baseball up against the fence. You know we, we, we lined them all up along the fence and just had someone toss the ball up and they just swung it right against the fence. Baseball clinics I worked with the catchers. Uh, we had different stations and everything but at the beginning they had two or the catchers and they came with me the whole entire time. I got to work with them and teach them different skills and stuff like that. Yes. All right, so everybody back up in your seats. Pop back up. All right, back down. Up down between your legs. You don't want the ball to go between your legs. Okay. All right, there you go. Hand behind. You don't want your hand getting hit. That's going to hurt. Put it like that. All right, good job. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Come in. Hey, come on. You guys are going to Coach Lance. Coach Lance is right here. <laughs> All right, what are we breaking down on? What are we? V Hall! V Hall's on three, okay? One, two, three! V Hall! Right there. I am the wave! You guys got about two minutes. Ready? Ryan, you got about two minutes. It, it was it was really great to interact with the children. It um, it, it was a very unique experience. Um, just hearing what they had to 
say um, their their accents were obviously cool, you know, because I've I've never heard anything like that. Um, and it, it, even just how they reacted to um, certain types of music, you know, so something that like the, the type of music that we would listen to, they knew of, and they you know were all of, they loved that. So it, it was it was just really cool to hear what they had to say about it. The baseball clinics we did this week were an attempt to expose the young people on the island to baseball and also an opportunity for them to see and interact with some other people who not, not only know baseball but have faith in Christ and and our goal from a ministry standpoint with that was to help kids to see that they can interact their faith in to other areas of their life like their sports or their school or their family and friendships. The children affected me greatly that some of them were really nice and some of them were real disinterested in, in what I was saying to them. Uh, for example, the one girl came up to me and kept hugging me and I started to, you know, a little relationship with her, we talked for a little, and she continued to tell me that her dad hit her that morning. So I went to the principal and uh, told him about what the girl said to me. So I felt that, you know, me and her connected a lot, you know, just because of what she told me. I don't think she would really tell anybody else, but she felt that, you know, connection with me. So. Uh, kids, they were really touching, uh, a lot of them. Uh, once they got to know you a couple times, at first they were shy, they didn't want to come but once they saw you around and you got saw them at different clinics and throughout the day and stuff they really started to open up to you and they were uh, like to come down and play basketball with us at night and hang out with us and that kind of stuff so it was good. Um, probably my most memorable experience would be either interacting with the kids or um, Jumping off the, the cliff into the, the blue hole, yeah. <laughs> that, that was really cool. The most memorable part of the trip would have to be Dwayne Pavkovich uh, hitting a barrel when, when backing out. And the second part of that is when he was driving on the wrong side of the road and almost hit another car. But in his defense, the uh, other side of the road. It's opposite of America, so. Uh, I'll take a lot away, but the biggest one is probably friendships and relationships we built when we were down there. I mean, going into this, I only knew Brucker through football, didn't know anybody else, and like, but after this, the trip, we're all real close and real good friends and still hang out and stuff like that. As the president of the Caribbean Youth Network and also a ministry coordinator on Long Island, I spent a lot of my time um, doing organizational development on Long Island, Bahamas, where I live, and also in Nassau, Bahamas. My favorite part about what I do is seeing kids grow in leadership and helping them to really achieve their fullest potential and how they understand themselves, how they understand their faith, and how they are able to impact others through their faith. The last night, um at the beach, we all got to go by ourselves out on the beach and just lay on the beach and look up and spend time with God and just the stars, there were so many and you'll never see it again and just the ocean rolling up on the beach and stuff, it was really memorable. Um, in the future we hope to expand our network um, to through having more partnerships um, throughout the Caribbean uh, that we'd be able to be more effective in networking other ministries together and also new ministry plants as opportunities arise. Just like to say thank you to Westminster College for their support of the ministry and their willingness to come and serve and for a week. And we hope that they come back. <laughs>